name is Anneleen de Koning and I work as a management and strategy consultant. Uh, so a private company located in Brussels called Igneos and we work typically on strategy and bringing the organization around with it. Now in, in our project we're always looking to introduce other ways of, of reaching these decisions, bringing people and stakeholders together in making decisions and strategies. And that is one of the reasons that uh, I'm here today to learn more about hackathons. And the reason this one particularly draw, drew me was precisely the, well, I chose the voting challenge um, because I'm a strong believer in the importance of voting in our society, in our system. And I came with an open mind to see what are the questions, how far can all my bold ideas be taken? Uh, my name is Jan van Kwalli. Uh, I work for the Belgian Home Office, uh, internal, uh, internal Affairs. Well, it's not internal affairs like a police stuff, but uh, the Home <laughs> Office. Yeah. And there my function is coordinator administrative simplification. So uh, simplification and a hackathon that goes together. Innovation, uh, stuff like that. So I'm always on the lookout to make things more simple. Yeah. That's it. And how do you make things more simple? To, like Hanalin says, thinking out of the box and uh, going beyond uh, rethinking the process. Why do we do it? Uh, how will we do it? Uh, just like the process wasn't there. So this hackathon for me was a challenge. Uh, why? Uh, I took also the subject uh, elections. I'm familiar with uh, uh, the elections, how they are organized uh, for the moment. Very familiar even. Uh, but I wanted to, to challenge myself to rethink the process and make it easier, especially for the civilians, for the yeah. for everyone among us, that it's easier to go voting. It's less uh, intrusive in the in your private life, mm -hmm. and uh, and actually, but on the the on the, the same moment, uh, keeping the guarantees for a demo. demo Democracy, democracy, right? Democracy all the safety process, checks, yeah. all the safety checks. So it was. A, I learned a lot. Yes. I learned a lot about also. Uh, you go thinking, you go dreaming. But uh, uh, thanks to the coaches that were here, yeah, that, uh, we, we were put say. with our feet on the ground Back again. Around. It was very good. And then you start rethinking your process and to come to a yes. solution. And, yes. and uh, also the pitching was very good. Well, uh, right, I, I, I want to go back to that. Well. Indeed, you said the coaches helped us. They helped us first kind of like uh, killing our dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we had to pivot after that. But that's what I really appreciate in the team that we managed to think it through when our original ID, we can make that happen uh, well enough. Yes. We kept talking, we came with another ID, we took it through. And, and that's, that's really, I think, something I really liked while still going for the goal we had, which is everybody who's allowed to and wants to vote in Belgium can vote. That's what we worked on. And then we had a, a dry run pitch. The guys gave us great tips. Yeah. Um, but especially it was also very nice to see how, especially with people that are not in right. the sector. Didn't know these guys before. Yeah, ne never, saw, no, never saw the girl. Uh, but we, we actually came together very spontaneously yeah. as a team and, yeah. and everybody had something to bring in and uh, the experience of voting but also how it is in reality but also how do you present things, right, very right. practical things, how you put things uh, through. Uh, it was it was very very nice experience yes. and the, 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 you see that the, 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 the cooperation between private sector, government sector but also maybe uh, universities but you yeah. need that. You need that to right. to to stand uh, firmly in the ground and see your world around you. Because otherwise, you're an administration. You see the administrative, you know, how the law is for the moment, but you don't see outside enough. And uh, you know, with people coming from outside, they, they, they put this experience here. Yeah, man, we feel it like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So that was a ni 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 nice yeah. interaction. Yeah. Um, so, the solution that we came up with in the end, um, we were first going on the hyper fun part of maybe an app so you can vote whenever, wherever you want from your chair, but there's no way to get Mobile. that. Mobile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no way to, to um, provide enough security to safeguard uh, the process and it would be worse than what we have today. But actually the problem is you never are sure that your device is safe. Exactly. So yeah. our solution works around that because what we decided is we will offer automated electronic identification using the existing EID system so that you can go vote in Belgium in any place you want and you can vote for your local district. Yeah. 
and especially also we uh, to realize that uh, to, to to come to the solution we made the process simpler yes uh, we made actually the organization of the voting the ballot office more easier you just need a computer two persons to safeguard the process and help some people who need it yeah and then the advantage of that you can put this ballot office anywhere you can put it in an uh, an old people's home retirement you can homes, put it in the, in the station the train station or even on a bus on a bus the voting bus yeah. yes it goes better in dutch stambus the stambus <laughs>